Okay, so going for the Ezekiel and threading my arm underneath, I'll use this position as a control tool in mount to keep the person down. So I'm cross facing here when I need to. When I go for the Ezekiel, it's because he's given me a path. If their hands are up here ready to fight, don't bother. But if he's down here working on my hips trying to escape, now I can thread this one in. I'm hooking, grabbing the fabric here, and I'm driving my fingers down towards the mat on the far side. I prefer to get an Ezekiel that's a blood choke rather than just leaning on the throat. Um, mostly because if people do that to me, I get very frustrated and I'll usually fight my way out of it and then give it back to them. But the blood choke works faster. So I'm here, I've got my cross face. He uses his arms, he wants to escape, so his hands come down away from my neck. That gives me my chance to thread a cross and I'm bringing my body over too. I've hooked here and I'm pressing down into the side of his neck. So his airway's uncompromised, but I'm still getting the choke. All right, Ezekiel choke from mouth. Pro tip, when somebody's Ezekiel choking you, turn your head to the side. It doesn't have to be as nasty as it normally feels. If I'm up like this, he's right on my airway. If I turn my head to the side, I both have a little bit more time to fight and I protected my airway a little bit. <laughs> 